Hey everybody, it's Benjamin here at the Centitar Fragrance Channel, coming back at you with another fragrance review. Today we're going to be talking about none other than, you know, Louis Cardon Sacred. This is a wonderful fragrance. Before we talk about it, down there below, you see the like button, you see the subscribe. Why don't you help me out today? Give me a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, even tell a friend about my channel and really help me out. When you hit the notification bell, hit all notifications. I upload very regularly. So let's talk about this fragrance and not waste any time. What we got on our hands here is a gorgeous semi-gourmand. Some people might say it's a full gourmand. I feel like it's kind of a semi-gourmand and it's a really beautiful fragrance. Let's talk about that smell. You know, this fragrance has chocolate, but it's not an overtly chocolate fragrance. It's not overtly sweet. There is sweetness to this fragrance, but it's not overtly bearing. This fragrance doesn't become cloying or heavy. There's this really interesting balance of not, it has black musk and white musk. Two different kinds of musk, giving this fragrance a lighter feel, a different tone to this fragrance, a unique kind of smoothness that you might have never encountered. This fragrance has, fragrance has all kinds of different textures going on. It has two different kinds of musk, one that's a little bit darker and deeper, that black musk and a white musk that wants to bring the fragrance to be a little bit more airy, a little bit more cloudy. And then you've got powdery notes giving this fragrance a smoothed out texture, a beautiful tone. Oh my goodness, this fragrance is beautiful. And then also this fragrance has added notes of like sandalwood in the dry down. That adds some creaminess and adds to the smoothness. It adds to the texture. And this fragrance is just so, so gorgeous through and through. Uh, there's amber. This is unmistakably a amber-focused fragrance. To me, I would categorize this as a, like a semi-gourmand amber fragrance. Um, some people might say it's a full-on gourmand. But to me, this is an amber fragrance with a lot of musky aspects and musky tones. And then the chocolate sweetness and then the sandalwood added in. So it's a gorgeous fragrance. The heart of it to me is amber and that really sticks through. I don't like a lot of ambers. I have hard time with amber fragrances for the most part. Amber fragrances just don't like me and I usually don't like them. But uh, this one's gorgeous. It's, it's just right. Um, I also am so excited to bring you this fragrance. We'll talk about the price. But, you know, just stay tuned for that. If you love the cheapies, if you love the affordable fragrances, you'll be excited to hear about this a little bit more about this fragrance what kind of performance are we getting out of this beauty we're getting anywhere from seven to nine hours seven to nine hours with probably average to above average projection i wouldn't say it's beast mode but it certainly is noticeable and, and i wouldn't say it's very strong but it's very nice Siage is actually remarkably good on this fragrance. When you're walking past people, there is certainly a good siage to this fragrance. You leave a trail behind you. You leave a jet stream. People do notice that you got something on when you walk past them with a beauty like this. So it's a little bit more resinous. Fragrances that have a little bit of weight behind them are able to do that in a beautiful way. So definitely it's uh, not a slouch in the performance department. Uh, but it might seem a little bit light to you. You know, you might feel like the fragrance kind of went away in the dry down. But it's still, you know, that's just because of the musk. It's still holding on and you still got a lot of performance going on with this fragrance. Anyways, with the compliment factor, that for me, it suits my personality. It's certainly a unisex fragrance, but it's a little bit more confident. Um, ladies, you certainly can wear this fragrance. I would love to smell a lady wearing this fragrance. But I think that uh, men are going to gravitate towards this one a little bit. Even though it has sweetness, it's, it has chocolate, it's a little bit leaning towards the gourmand side. I feel like this fragrance has a confidence behind it. It has a strength behind it. And um, I think that uh, you know guys might more like it. But um, if you like your gourmands, ladies, that aren't dripping sweet, if you'd want your a gourmand that's not oozing and goozing and heavy um, and, you know, kind of flirtatious, you know, kind of fruity, you know, this might be for you. This might be very good for you, um, if, especially if you like ambers. Certainly try this one out. Now, I promised you that this is a more affordable fragrance and more ch of a cheapy fragrance, and I wasn't lying to you. Um, some people might try to sell this fragrance to you for... I don't know, upwards of $80 or so. Don't listen to them. You can get this fragrance for $35, you know, you know, $35 or so reliably, just about anywhere. $35 to $40. You shouldn't have trouble, at least today, as far as 2020 goes, when I'm reviewing this today. 
you shouldn't have a hard time finding this one um, i am going to link their website down below where you can check this fragrance out um, through instagram and all again this is louis cardon and uh, this is a beautiful creation this is a wonderful creation from the house uh, one of the best values for money i've ever had so far one of the best cheapies and probably my favorite amber to date this stuff is a real winner. Uh, I do appreciate Amber, Amber uh, Sultan. I think that's by Serge Lutons. That's a completely different story and a completely different fragrance. This stuff is a charmer. It works. It's sweet. It's seductive. It can work for you on date nights. If you like gourmands, you got to check it out. And if you like ambers, this is certainly worth checking out. Um, if you've never liked ambers before and you've always wanted an amber, if you've never been able to find an amber that interested you uh, for a more reasonable price, for all those reasons, I recommend this fragrance. Highly recommended for the juice and the performance. Uh, there's also a couple reviewers uh, that have come out and said how good this fragrance is. So, you know, the hype is real. I hope that fr this fragrance gets a little bit more traction uh, because it deserves it. Yeah, it's corny. Some people don't like the bottles. It has these ridges. Kind of looks like almost like a spiral going up to heaven in a way. Or I don't know, up to... I don't know, the, the heavens, whatever you want to say, I, I don't care. Anyways, gorgeous fragrance, beautiful stuff, worth your money, worth the 35, 40 bucks, hands down, no question about it, um, and they're serious quality. I actually really like the performance and the quality of this fragrance. It's just gorgeous. I'm just impressed by it. I don't know what else to say. Look at the color of this juice. That's, that's the color of the juice you're getting. That stuff looks rich. And it looks like it's a high quality fragrance. That's the kind of that's the kind of color of the juice that you would expect from a much heavy, a much more expensive fragrance. Uh, but you're getting it here, you know, for thirty five bucks. So Louis Cardon Sacred, highly recommended. Beautiful juice, beautiful fragrance. One of the one of my favorite fragrances. It's going to stay in my collection uh, for sure. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that if you like affordable fragrances, I haven't forgotten about you. I care about you. And that one's going to stay in my collection. Again, highly recommended. So let's wrap up this video. If you did like it, if you do like the affordables and the cheapies and everything else, you know, let me know below. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Have you heard about it? Do you like ambers? Do you like Germans? Do you like this? Does, does this sound beautiful to you? It certainly is beautiful to me. Let me know in the comment section below, and while you're at it, why don't you give me a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and even share the video or tell a friend. And when you hit the notification bell, hit all notifications. Yeah, it's a little bit funny that YouTube expects you to hit the notification bell and hit all, and subscribe, and all those funny things, but that's the way of the game. That's how the game is played, so please help me out, and I'll see y'all next time, my friends. Wear what you love, rock what you got, and I'm going to be rocking this beautiful fragrance. This stuff is gorgeous. Trust me, guys. It's worth your money. It's worth your time. I'll see y'all next time, my friends. Have a good one, and bye.